Hello everyone, good afternoon. Back with me again, Adi from Colony BSF Indonesia. And this is my second video in English version. And before you continue watching this video, don't forget to subscribe to keep you updated on our channel. In this second video, I'm still talking about the principal issue of BSF cultivations and have not talked about the, uh, the technical ones. Because by knowing the right principles at the beginning, it will make your steps very clear later. So, uh, this is important to do at the beginning. Now I'm going to talk about the steps before we do before we start BSF cultivations on the scale of productions because some of us doing farm, doing BSF just for hobbies just for trying at homes and something like that but these steps uh, is the specific purpose for you that uh, propose to make productions daily on the specific target. If you will prepare uh, daily productions like 100 to 100 uh, kilograms of maggots, fresh maggots every day, think about this. This is the step for you who want to make the medium scales, but this is also the step can be used uh, to prepare uh, for your industrial scale. There are some steps you have to know before you start BSF cultivations. Number one, determine your goals and targets. Different target and objectives will affect uh, to the technicality of the cultivation had to be carried out. Your large production target probably will bring your activity into industrial scales. What machines and tools will be needed and how large the organic waste uh, required and perhaps the serious observations is necessary at the beginning what purpose of your maggots will be applied? probably it will determine what kind of organic waste has to be used for some specific users of maggots like uh, like pets like for pets uh, they need uh, maggots that feed with specific uh, materials like uh, palm kernel cake. So there are things from specific goals we cannot ignore, especially for those related to the production costs. The applications of maggots for animal feed require the right standard of production costs and that will determine many things. So set up your goals and your targets. Number two, do observations. On any scale of your plan, do observations regarding to the kind of waste will be used and how far your site to the waste locations, kind of waste, kind and quantity, and tools or machines will be needed. All the observations result will be the basic to complete your plan to complete the plan that you will make so that's number two do observations number three make the right planning planning is the step that carried out and made on paper not on your head your large target may not be supported by the availability and sufficient land Make some solutions, learn, evaluate, and do the right planning before.
Number four, build your cycle step by step. And it's not all about the money. Talking about the large scale, your large scale, industrial scale, there's a lot, there's many things we have to build. Not about talking about the construction costs. We have to prepare the labor. We have to build the cycle of waste, come and bring from the, from its place to our site, and make it daily training your labors. Everything must go well, and everything need process. So doing it gradually is uh, wise steps. Number five. Evaluations. Evaluate your farm once it's running and compare to your initial targets and goals. And if all appropriate, think about the scaling up. Mm -hmm.